Hey traders, welcome to pittrades.com. It's Sunday evening uh, after the Globex open and uh, gosh, I hope everybody had a awesome Thanksgiving here in the United States. I sure did. Um, and you know what? Uh, believe it or not, usually take uh, the time off and just shut everything down. Uh, but admittedly, uh, there was some trading to be done on Friday when you wake up in the morning and there's over half a million contracts being traded in the uh, E-minis. Um, <laughs> The day after a holiday, uh, especially Thanksgiving, that Friday, um, you got to pay attention to it. And there was some uh, some trades there. We actually got into trade, and and uh, it was very nice late in the day. Covered uh, actually uh, just open uh, after the open of Globex here, and I'm sure some of you guys uh, are still in that trade have uh, taken some off. So very good. We'll talk about that trade here in just a second. But uh, guys, there's a lot going on this week. We have a lot of good news coming up this week. Uh, we got a full week of news, um, and it ends with unemployment on Friday. There is a lot going on in Europe right now. There's a lot of rumors coming out. Uh, we have obviously gapped up huge in the in the overnight right now. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Um, yeah, we closed around the 53 level, and now we've gapped up into this. Uh, I think we opened at 71 and been as high as 76. So huge gap up. Um, crazy things going on. A lot of rumors. A lot of good news this week. So this week should be uh, should be a, a pretty darn good week for movement and uh, should be a good trading week so let's get started let's find some levels first let's talk about that trade on Friday we had a uh, nice movement up all day Friday I was able to catch a little bit of this and then we had the sell-off was in the afternoon um, I wasn't around I came to watch the close of the uh, of this thing and it closed down pretty hard we picked it up at around the 1150 area well, why did we do that I'll show you why uh, we did that because that was down around the uh, 618 retracement and uh, we figured they would try to bounce this a little bit this market is severely oversold and even though they tried to bounce it early there were some rumors out in the afternoon that ran this thing down again uh, we figured they're going to keep bouncing this thing up until they really start to cover it so uh, we were able to catch some of this it was really hard I'm not going to kid you it's really hard to hold this stuff over the weekend uh, knowing that there's a lot of craziness right now going around the world but uh, I didn't take full size and I think a lot of people didn't and uh, we were paid handsomely for this uh, right now so we're starting a week out really good uh, I suspect some more good stuff coming up so what to look for as far as levels uh, we are we have bounced we're bounced over the weekly pivot now I've got the weekly pivot in at uh, 1166 and some change and looks like we've cleared a couple hurdles here we have to watch the regular trading hours I don't unless there's some crazy news out that tanks this market again I don't suspect we'll close this gap unless we come down and work it off in the uh, Globex session I suspect they're gonna start working some of this oversold uh, condition off and so I'm looking at some uh, levels at the top 1179 will most likely get hit in the Globex above that we have the R1 and I got another level up here at 1185 and three quarters if we eat through that I got a great level 1192 and then of course last week high uh, up at around 1197.75 if we do tank and we start busting down levels we got to get below the pivot which will probably get tested in the Globex down to this close the settlement actually is 11.5350 uh, down to last week's low which is 11.4925 and that is my son messing with me while I'm doing this and then um, below that I like the S1 is a nice target, 11.35, but I really got some good levels here. Uh, I've got a few different things sitting right here at 11.27 up to 11.29. That would be my final target if we were to break down. So uh, news for Monday, guys. Uh, we have new home sales, 9 a.m. These are Central Standard Times. And then, of course, Dallas Fed Manufacturing Survey. That's a mouthful at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Guys, uh, get your uh, seat belts tightened up. Uh, this is going to be a heck of a ride this week. A lot of decisions are going to be made over in Europe, and I suspect we'll start to see uh, some things play out in the marketplace uh, for longer term. So with that, guys, uh, 30 minutes in the morning, maybe even an hour, sit on the sidelines, let this thing shake out. We'll find some great trading opportunities. Let's make it a great week. I hope everybody has a great day tomorrow. We'll talk to you then. Take care.